on this episode of The Sequence. I'm back! The Sequence. What is going on, everybody? DJ F here, and I'm back at it again on the MPC Live 2 Retro Edition, of course. And we're checking out a new MPC expansion by Young Snipes. Shout out to Young Snipes. I had a nice little conversation with him and he let me know that he had a dope expansion for me. So I'm going to weigh in with my hot takes, of course, at the end of this video. Pros and cons. Got to be fair, right? And I will demonstrate all of the sounds in this video and cook up a beat. You know the vibes. Let's begin. So again, the link is in the description box and we have the MPC Live 2 Retro Edition in the flesh and boy, do I love this right here. I also have that linked in the description box, but man, oh man, is it limited because everybody wants one. So the drums so far, I already have one kit in here and Yeah, it, it sounds really good. That's my early critique. Let's go ahead and uh, lay out a track here. I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to the pencil sign and hit double length so we can get a four bar loop instead of a two bar loop. And yeah, record, play start. On the melody here. Mm -hmm. Add one more thing in here. Oh yeah. I like it. Let's add some hi-hats. You know the vibes. So as I demonstrated, you can you can lay out a beat pretty easily. Uh, he he's figured this thing out. The mathematics is correct with this expansion. So how about more sounds from the expansion? Let's go ahead and hear some more previews here. You know, uh, I just wanted to show a quick little demonstration of how you can make some things cook up. So I'm over here in my expansions right now. And I already have pure platinum selected because why not? Mm-hmm. That's one kit. I think I'm going to load that up. I like. Mm-hmm. Get a little bit more volume. And see, the thing I like about these types of kits and stuff like that, or these expansions, it just makes it a little easier for anybody that makes beats. And that's all you want to do. You don't, Maybe you don't want to load up drum programs and, and create your own drum programs, which I do have a tutorial on that as well. You know, check out my playlist uh, for the MPC beat software. It's pretty much the same process as in here, but I like that too as well. I think I might roll with that kit. Sounds like he put his heart and soul in a lot of this. I think I'll load that as a safety kit. Yeah. Mm. Mm. One thing I like about all the people that make expansions for the MPC like they are phenomenal producers themselves. So <laughs> you got to really bring it to the table. And, and that is necessary for a person like me. I don't want to be caught lacking in these streets. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get to the cook up. 
So I'm listening to some samples from my other brothers from another mother and I came across this long Cadillac's joint. I like that and MX6 Audio is one of my favorite uh, sample base creation companies. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and let's see if we can get something rolling. So I'm gonna chop up the sample real quick. Now, it's a real quick process for me. Um, what I basically do is just go over here. I don't have to trim it, depends on where you get your samples from. That's the other thing. You know, that's the best thing about sample packs, though it makes you lazy. I'm gonna go into BPM right over here. And uh, I might go back over here to trim because I wanna make that sample a little faster. So I'll tune it up a little bit and then go back over here. Let's go. Yeah, I like that. So, tell me how you feel about this video. I definitely wanna hear from you guys in the comments section as I weigh in with my pros and cons. So, the pros, well, <laughs> it's a very good expansion. It's very modern, by the way, which is something that the MPC needed. I always like this joist because it's easy to kind of grab and go. I have my particular drum programs when I wanna do certain types of vibes, but well, if I had one con, probably maybe the price point, maybe, but I really don't trip on MPC expansions because it's 50 bucks across the board. Do I give this the stamp of approval? Well, I would definitely have to say 98%.